your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosterud. Well, be sure to bundle up before heading out the door this morning. It is bitterly cold out there. That air temperature says 26 degrees. You factor in the breezy northerly wind this morning. It feels more like the teens out there. Skies are mostly clear as we look off to the west. Off to the east, though, we're still seeing some cloud cover out there. Uh, clouds are clean and clear as we head into the morning. In fact, we'll see plenty of sunshine today, only making it into the lower 40s, lower 50s tomorrow as that temperature trend goes upwards into the 60s by Thursday and Friday. Check out all that sunshine, though. Definitely can't complain with that. However, our next Cold front's going to move in Saturday afternoon. It's going to bring another cool down and even a chance for rain as we head into the second half of your weekend. The wind chills are going to be the story today because the air is going to feel bitterly cold, especially this morning with those northerly winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour. We're talking wind chills in the teens out there. Some of us could even get close to single digits as we head through the early morning hours. By lunchtime, we'll see those wind chills still stay in the 20s for many of us across the big country as those northerly winds stay pretty breezy into the afternoon. We could see gusts as high as 25 miles per hour. Today, but by a five o'clock, those winds will continue to stay breezy as temperatures push the upper 30s, lower 40s. So those wind chills may only make it into the 30s as we head later into this evening. Good news is, though, those winds will start to die down as we head into the overnight, and that will keep temperatures right about where those or, or wind chills rather right about where our air temperatures will be. Still in the 20s, though, as we head into the overnight tonight, those temperatures fall back into the 20s. We got again another hard freeze expected for many of us across the big country with those clear skies out there, those light winds. Again, good. News is we don't have to worry about that wind chill factor, but you'll want to take those cold weather precautions by remembering your pets, plants, and pipes. Protect those all as we head into the overnight. Hopefully, this may be the last freeze, at least for a little while, for many of us. However, the next freeze that's coming tonight is going to be a lot more widespread for really almost the entire state out there. Freezing temperatures expected from Tyler out towards El Paso through the Panhandle, even as far south as the Rio Grande down into Laredo. In fact, freeze warnings are in effect for. Almost the entire state. This freeze warning, we're under the Bay Country here. That does expire at 9 o'clock this morning when those free temperatures are likely to warm back above freezing. But otherwise, for tonight, freeze warnings do extend from Texarkana all the way down towards Brownsville. Houston area under a freeze watch right now, but that could be upgraded to a freeze warning with better confidence of those freezing temperatures pushing down there. So, widespread freezing temperatures expected across the entire state as we head into tonight. For this morning, still under those freezing conditions as we head out the door. So, be sure to bundle up. By lunchtime, we'll make it into the mid and upper 30s out there. Again, we'll enjoy plenty of sunshine. It'll look nice out there. But once you step outdoors, those winds going to make it feel like the 20s for many of us, feeling like the 30s by later this evening as temperatures make it into the upper 30s and lower 40s across the big country. Again, we'll fall below freezing once again tonight. 27 for a low here in Abilene. At least we won't have that wind chill to contend with. Those winds remaining very light tonight and tomorrow. 50s for highs on Wednesday. Again, enjoying lots of sunshine as we head into the end of this week with the mid 60s returning closer to normal for where we should be this time of year. That cold front moves in Saturday night, bringing a chance for rain on Sunday and the 40s again to finish out the weekend. All right, burr, burr, burr. Mm -hmm. Just bundle up today, guys. It's not going to be much better than it was yesterday. <laughs> not at all. All right.